Alright guys, um, we're just going to really quickly go over how to create some rules. And uh, I've set up a scene here with a few actors. And I'm going to click on one of my actors. And up here is the create rule button. And you can use that. Or you can actually scroll down in the behaviors and drag a rule in. So those are your two options there. Now for this actor here, we're just going to really simply, when touch is pressed, change image to this one. Now when I hit preview, you'll see when I touch this actor, it changes the image. And that's a rule with a behavior. Um, and that behavior won't be activated unless that rule is applied. Um, let's get into a little more complex rule. And uh, so that's 930, so obviously we're going to go to the 930 actor. And I'm going to create a rule. And I'm going to say when touch is pressed, now, when touch is pressed, it's not enough. I also need the answer to be correct. And I've, also, I've already set up some uh, answer attributes. So I'm going to go, when touch is pressed, I'm going to hit this plus sign. And we're going to add a rule to this. So when touch is pressed, an attribute, self, answer, is equal to, game answer. So basically when they press it and the answer is correct, then we'll do a behavior and that will be play sound chime. So now when I hit preview, we click this, that changes the image and this is the right answer. I click it and you'll hear that the sound is pressed, uh, played. Now if that was the incorrect answer, it just wouldn't do anything. So let's go back and let's go to the wrong answer. Create a rule. When touch is pressed. And this time here, we're going to do something different. We're going to create a rule within a rule. So I'll go rule. And we're going to go if attribute self answer is equal to. game answer. So just like the rule we made before, um, and we're going to play a sound, and I'll put the chime in there again. So we've created a rule that says when touch is pressed, go to the next rule. So this rule here is if the answer is correct, play the chime. But the, a good feature we have right here is otherwise, and we know that this answer is wrong. So we're going to go otherwise, and I'm just going to copy this uh, Alt option, drag it to otherwise, and we're going to play the zipper sound. So what we're saying right here is if touch is pressed and answer is correct, play the chime. Otherwise, play the zipper. So let's go back and see if this worked. Hit preview. So I'm going to click this, 930, we click the correct answer, it chimes. Click the wrong answer, and we get the zipper. And we got the zipper because we'll go back into the rule again. We got the zipper here because the answer did not equal the game answer. Um, if it equaled the game answer, it would play this sound. Anything else would result in this sound. And that is how you use the otherwise, and that is how you use rules and a rule within a rule. And I hope that helps, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them in the forums, and we'll be happy to help. Also, if you could rate this video, that would be awesome. Thank you.